Yo, what's poppin'? It's no C. You're watching Rebel Life TV, and this is Rhode Island Rappers. Fuck all that fake shit is back to the basics. In the trap with the bracelet is back to the basics. Grind crack in the basement is back to the basics. I was gon' change, but it's back to the basics. Fuck all that fake shit is back to the basics. In the trap. Female MC. Hey. Nelsie. Nelsie in the building. Let's get into this interview. Let's do it. How long you been rapping for? Shit, I've been rapping since middle school. I've been rapping since I was, I say, 12, 11. I've been spitting ever since. And I kind of paused at like, I kind of paused at around, around 14. Cause you know, like my host was all up and shit. I ain't really had the time, money, to mm. go to no studio. But fucking now, I'm just chilling, like doing my shit, like. Uh, how'd you come up with your rap name? Nelsie. So nobody really knows my real name, but my real name's Canel. Mm. That's my government. I'm already put it out there. Might mm. as well. But C is for my last name, so. People kept saying my shit wrong, and I was just like, no C. Like, you feel me? The no with the C. No right. C. That's what's up. So, where are you from? I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, South Side. Straight right. from fucking Children's Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Prov, baby, for real. No bullshit, full one, baby. <laughs> Can you describe Rhode Island for, like, the viewers that never been there? I mean, Rhode Island itself is... I say it's just easy going, like, I don't really, I don't really explore different states, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I've just been in private my whole life. Like, I would go car to, like, Florida and shit, fucking South Carolina, but, like, it really is not, Providence is just crazy. I could say a lot of things about my city, mm -hmm. but... Other than the state, like, I can't really describe what's good, like. Talk about Prov. Prov is full of bitches that use you for what they got, for what you got. And niggas, it's just, they all grimy, they all fake. They'll fuck your bitch the next day. Hmm. And try to smoke a blunt with you before that. Fact. Bitches, bitches, they see a nigga and they see a nigga because he flossy and she fucks with him. You feel me? It's for what he got and shit. Everybody's grimy and fake out here. So I be trying to stay to myself, but... Bitch need friends. <laughs> <laughs> Could you describe your rap style? My rap style? Yeah. No bullshit. When I get to my, like, aggressive shit, I could say I spit on, like, a little bit of Remy. Remy, mom. Um... Lil' Kim, I, I really, I fuck with her vibe. I be trying to use some of her shit, try to hear how my shit sounds with the way how I spit. Um, that's, that's it, really, for the little females. Yeah. How'd you get into rapping? Like, what was it that made you start rapping? Well, I used to see a lot of these Providence rappers, and I was just like, oh, shit, like, they making music. I'm in Providence. Why ain't I doing the same shit? Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't see another bitch working like me. I don't see a bitch my age doing what the fuck I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, fucking, like, I was, I was, what, like, 14, 15. Around that age, I was already listening to Meta Man, Craig Mack. Um, like, I could take it, I could take it way back from, like, Cameron, Jim Jones, um, Max B, he's one of my favorite. Biggie Smalls, Biggie's a lot of, 
he's a, a big artist that I used to listen to when I was younger. And mm-hmm. that's really, that's, I feel like how I got, I had got my passion for it. Like, when I hear a dope-ass artist and you go ahead and you keep saying, you see every song, you hear every song that they drop, nigga, like, not one of them's trash, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's what I noticed from Biggie. I'm like, yo, where Brooklyn at? <laughs> like, what's good? Like, mm-hmm. after that, I was just, I was just like, you know what? I gotta get on my shit. That's when I started making remixes to like different beats, and it ain't even from a, a beat that a nigga made. Like, it'll, that'll, it, that'll be like a remix or something. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I like to remix a lot of, lot of new beats. Like, but people be, ch- be, they be saying like, I gotta. Like, I gotta spit on something that they made or something a nigga makes, you know, something original. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to find the right the right guy, the right tool, mm-hmm. the right crew. What about Rhode Island as a whole, like, the music scene? Like, who do you, who'd you listen to from Rhode Island? I listen to, I ain't really listen to people outside of my city. Mm-hmm. Just because I ain't never really heard of anybody outside of my city. But... I be from the prof, from the four one movement. Like, I be hearing, I be hearing, like, Byron Santana sometimes, King of Self. Mm-hmm. Um, I fuck with Key Money's music. Mm-hmm. Um, I fuck with Vic Mucker, mm-hmm. um, El Boody. He's he's a nice, talented rapper too. Like he. He's out there for the, the Spanish trap, like that's that, and that's something that I'm trying to, I'm trying to work with. I mean, that's something I'm. I actually made a song yesterday, mm-hmm. Spanish trap, and I'm just you know waiting for the time and moment to drop that shit. Cause that yeah. shit gonna be hot. Talk about like the latest songs that you uh, put out right now on your SoundCloud. Fucking, I put out Remy Girl. Remy Girl was the last song that I posted. And so far, that's a banger. Like, that's a hit with everybody. Um, before that, I made a song called Overtime, OT. Um, that was another banger. Then I made I made a song called They Sick. Um, I made a Gummo remix. It's a diss. Um, I made a song called Taking Pictures. And I made the, the, the Lil Baby Freestyle Schools Rap. Mm-hmm. That was the first one I dropped. That shit goes hard, man. Yeah. What made you start? Like, what made you set up your SoundCloud? Like, you've been doing music for a while. Like, what made you like take that step? No bullshit. It was a hassle, mm-hmm. just for me to post a song because how I did it, like a dumbass. I go on the app SoundCloud, and usually to use SoundCloud, mm-hmm. I didn't know you needed an actual studio. So what I did was. I put some headphones in, and I just started pressing the button recording with another phone in my hand with the beat, (laughs) trying to make a song. (laughs) But it that shit ain't work. Like I um as soon as I like found the studio that I could work with and shit and drop music, that's when I did it. And that was around the time I made the little baby rap. Mm. That was what I could say I dropped that shit in January. Mm. Yeah, I did. Like, there's a lot of artists in Rhode Island. Like, why do you feel like it's so hard to, like, come up coming from from Rhode Island? No bullshit. That's a good question. The only reason why it's so hard... Usually niggas be saying that, like, the fake is so so real. And it just be the... It be your own people, so it be people from your own city. They, they be hating on, on you. They be like... Saying your shit's trash and shit. People be thinking that's that's why they don't make it, but that's some bullshit, honestly. Cause it could be the most hated. It could be the most hated nigga. Like, and take example, take it. Nobody in Texas fuck with take it. That nigga was taking bodies out there. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I just feel like it's more likely like you gotta work hard and stay in the studio consistently. You mm-hmm. feel me? That's the only way you're gonna get better, and that's the only way you're gonna make it out. Because the more you post, the more you progress, and the more you get exposed. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? You got to post videos. You got to do promotions. You got to take a few popping pictures. Yeah, you got to yeah. be looking popping. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got to have the full package. You do. Straight up. Um, let them know like, where they can find your music. You can find my music at 
SoundCloud. You can go on my Instagram, Nell C underscore, and you could look at my page. I got a lot of clips there I make, and I tagged the link to my song onto the video, and that's about it. You got any uh, shout outs or any last words for the people? Shout out to Good Money Team, shout out to my city, and shout out to the big niggas and bitches that hated me. Alright, man. Signing out, Rebel Ace TV. No C. There's no C. <laughs>